Writing the differentiated science inquiry really was an outgrowth of working with classroom teachers that were taking this journey to become more inquiry-based. And after several years of developing some competencies and skills in inquiry, many asked, what's next? What do I do now? To me, I was looking at students having choice within their classroom. They are generally giving a one-size-fits-all type of lab to which they have to work on a perform or complete. And in any class, a class of 25 to 28, there are some students that that works well for and other students that it doesn't. Say, for example, some students have a high need for structure, okay? Student A says, I need to know what to do, what to get, give me the data table, let me fill it out, and I'll work on it real well, okay? Another student says, tell me what you want to do, what you want me to do, and then get out of my way. Let me figure that out myself through trial and error. And so here we have two different sets of students with two different needs in the same classroom. And that one-size-fits-all lab really doesn't help students on either end. So the differentiated science inquiry takes a number of labs that are appropriate for differentiation and organizes them on different levels of structure. I have one lab around momentum, which includes using balls and ramps. One level is highly structured, one level has a mid-level of structure, and one level is somewhat unstructured. They all deal or end up with the same outcomes at the end, but students have a choice on what level or what approach of inquiry best fits their need. And when you think about it, kids have very little choice in their classroom. They're told when to show up for school, what books to read, what classes to go to, when they're supposed to eat, when they can go to the bathroom, when they can sharpen their pencil, and everything else. In a sense, because of the needs of school, it's a little micromanagement. This case gives some kids a choice in the instruction, and it shifts the ownership from the teacher towards the student. So differentiated science inquiry allows teachers to take certain lessons and provide different levels of inquiry to their students to meet their students' needs. Mm -hmm.